Argentina is set to boost its energy production after announcing a major contract with China to build a new nuclear power plant in the Buenos Aires province. The project adds to the existing nuclear energy sector in Latin America's third largest economy, and it comes with the highest price tag of any infrastructure project in the country, $8 billion. China National Nuclear Corporation will use China-developed Walong-1 technology for the plant. Construction phase is expected to create some 7,000 jobs. It will be only the second power plant with this technology outside China. The two countries signed the agreement shortly before President Alberto Fernandez met with Chinese President Xi Jinping in Beijing in early February. Argentina was the first country in Latin America to adopt nuclear energy. It now has three power plants that, according to latest official figures, contribute 7.5% of the country's energy production. The president of Argentina's nuclear power company, José Luis Antunes, says this new plant will generate extra energy for some 10 million people. And crucially, he says nuclear energy is part of the country's effort to reduce carbon emissions. Nuclear energy is clean and does not contribute to global warming at all. Considering environmental issues and the push to decarbonize, nuclear is not part of the problem. It is part of the solution. For China, this is an opportunity to export its nuclear technology. And with Argentina's industry and experience, some believe it could be the start of a new partnership. This project is important for benefits it brings Argentina, but also is clearly important for China to insert its technology into the region. And maybe we can begin to imagine Argentina as a provider of nuclear power plants in the region in partnership with China. Work is expected to begin later this year and take over eight years to complete. It's then designed to provide energy for at least the next six decades. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.